hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is linda on this channel i share videos about sewing pattern drafting sewing vlogs and everything in between if this sounds like what you're interested in you might definitely want to hit the subscribe button and also turn on your notification bell for more interesting videos like this on today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to cut and sew this beautiful basic jumpsuit which we drafted recently so get your fabric and let's head over to the work table So now I have my pattern paper laid right on my fabric. I folded my fabric into two just to cut out the back piece. I drew a yellow chalk line with the sewing allowance of about 1 inch all the way around except for the waistline which I added 0.5 inches. Let me rephrase that. I gave 1 inch all the way at the side seam, at the outer seam like you see me pointing. So I have 1 inch there and also 1 inch at this part at the inner seam where you see me pointing. So at the crotch area I gave about 1 inch like this slanting upwards which led to about 2 inches at the waistline at the top. So I folded in those parts of the front just to measure out the 2 inches extension. For the zipper allowance i also notched the back that so i'll just go ahead and cut this out and this is how it's looking like for the back piece after i am done cutting it out next i'll just go ahead and remove all the back piece which i have attached earlier when i was drafting it so i'll use my scissors to trim out the excesses and this is what i have so the back piece has been separated from the front piece so that it will enable me to cut out the front i'll just go ahead and take out the excesses and place it on my fabric and cut out the front now this is what i have for the front you can see that it, i give an extra one inch all the way around now after cutting the back piece i'll go ahead and trim out the excesses for the zipper around this part and also at the neckline and I'll go ahead to the armhole and trim out the excess and I'll place that on another fabric and cut out the front piece for my front piece I folded my fabric and I marked out 0.5 inches at the shoulder line and at the waistline as well After I am done cutting, I went ahead to notch the midpoint and also indicate the dart. Now I am done cutting out all the pieces I needed for the jumpsuit, so I also cut out the lining part for the upper bodies alone. Now I went ahead to stitch the neckline for the back piece and also I top stitch on it like you see me pointing and I will do the same thing for the other one as well. I also went ahead to stitch the neckline for the front and also top stitched on it like I did for the back. I also went ahead to stitch the darts as well and I did the same thing for the back. Now this is what I have, my neckline has been stitched, my darts has been closed. This is the back piece and this is what I have for the front piece. And now it's time to work on the lower part. For the lower part, I'll just go ahead and stitch the crotch area by 0.5 inches at this point and also added 4.5 inches for the dart and also I did the same thing for the front and also at the crotch. Now this is my front piece, this is what I have. I'll just go ahead and place my upper bodies right side to right side and stitch it up. And this is what I have for the back piece. You can see that I didn't entirely sew the crouch area because of my zipper. So I just went ahead and flipped my upper bodies for the back and I'll go ahead and stitch it up. I'll also go ahead and repeat the same thing for the second part. Now I'm done stitching the front piece. This is what I have. And also this is the back piece. This is what I have. So I'm going to attach a zipper like this, like you see me pointing. Next thing I'll do is to go ahead and stitch the shoulders. Now this is what I have for the shoulder. And this is the zipper which I also attached to it. For the shoulder part, I used one part of the shoulder to wrap the other part of the shoulder around. And I stitched it and turned it inside out. 
and next i'm just going to cut out the sleeve for the sleeve i have a video on how to draft a basic sleeve pattern which you will find in the link at the top of the screen the next thing i did was to impute the measurement of my body circumference around my bust my under bust my waistline and my hips so i'll just use that to shaping out the jumpsuit and mark it out with my chalk To get the hip length, I'll be starting at 17 inches which is my waistline and I'll be measuring downwards by 9 inches for the hip line and I'll be ruling that across with my chalk as well. After which I'll just impute my circumference of my hips like you see me doing. When drawing out the lines, remember to include the sewing allowance you added initially both for the trouser parts and the upper bodies. I'll also go ahead and did the same thing I did here for the opposite side. Now I am done attaching the sleeves and the zipper including the side seam. For the zipper you can see that the 2 inches I gave here really did its job. And this is how it's looking like. So I also went ahead to hem the down part and I decided to cut out a long strip of fabric for the belt. This is really optional. So this is about 8 inches wide and the length is not so long. And now this is what I have. This is how it's looking like. This is the outcome. This is the finished look. I'll just go ahead and cross check everything I did and look out for any error. If you have any questions to ask, don't forget to drop it in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to attend to it and reply them. Also go ahead and make yours and share with me via my Instagram handle at mo.underscorelane. That takes us to the end of the tutorial. If this video has been helpful to you, kindly hit the subscribe button and also tap on the notification bell to get more interesting videos like this. And also, don't forget to like and share. Which of the styling do you think is preferable between these two? Would you prefer to rock your jumpsuit plain like it is, or would you prefer to attach your belt to it and rock it that way? Go ahead and tell me the best option you think in the comment section. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!